Hey, this is Coach Charles here with Fit Health in Herndon, Virginia. Today we're going to be talking about tech neck. What is tech neck? And how can we uh, help a stiff neck feel better? So tech neck is when you spend a lot of time and you're looking at your cell phone. Just, you know, see how my neck is all set of shoulders are all forward. And people end up spending up to hours and hours each day on on this uh, on this little tiny device. Or you could be working at the computer and you could be looking down at a laptop for instance. So my laptop could be here and I've got my fingers here and I'm just looking like hours and hour, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. So what can we do to get rid of a stiff neck uh, or, or tech neck? We're gonna go to these massage balls here. Uh, you could also use a lacrosse ball or if you don't have uh, some, these are a little bit softer than a lacrosse ball, so uh, most people tend to like them when they first start doing this kind of thing as opposed to an actual lacrosse ball. The lacrosse ball will dig deeper, but this is going to do a good job. Uh, if you don't have these, you could also use something like a baseball or a tennis ball. Any other kind of round rub, um, <laughs> rubber, round rubber harder uh, kind of ball, even like a kid's ball that you could use. So yeah, you got a stiff neck, you're, you're trying to look forward and then over the side and you get like maybe this far over or you know, like maybe that far over the side. And of course you should be able to look you know, much further over in either direction. What can we do about that? Start thinking about your work environment, uh, your play environment, wherever you're working with these devices and can you set them up in such a way that you're setting the device at eye level as opposed to way down here. So you can keep the natural arch in your neck and you can pull your shoulder blades together and allow your chest to come up and so you can be in a more natural standing type position even if you're sitting down. All right, that's the first thing, is if you eliminate the problem in the first place, you won't have to work on these fixes. Now I know you're still gonna look at your phone, you're still gonna work on the computer, but perhaps you can set them up in a better way that they're not causing as much problem. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is we're going to loosen up all of these muscles through here, okay? These are your traps, and we're also going to work down the spine, okay, up around the shoulder blades. So we'll start with uh, between the shoulder blades, and I'm just gonna drop these balls, and I got a little string here, and I'm gonna drop it down my back, okay? just to the side of my spine, and I'm gonna lean up against the wall. Okay, so that ball is not directly on the spine, it's just to the right of the spine, a little, little tiny bit to the right of the spine. All right, good. Now, my feet are out a good foot, to a foot and a half away from the wall, and I'm leaning back into the wall. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise my arm up, and so I'm moving those muscles in my uh, mid and upper back across the balls. I'm gonna do this five or 10 times, and then I'm gonna move the balls up one vertebrae, or about that much, just about an inch. Okay, so I'll grab hold of that string, pull up a bit, okay, good. And I'm gonna do some more, do some more. All right, and then I'll hit another spot or two, and again, I'm leaning into the ball against the wall, up and down, up and down, okay. I can also roll side to side, like right there, there's a bit of a spot, a bit of a knot that I can feel. I'm just gonna lean into it, breathe. All right, and I can move my arm side to side as well, and I can go back and forth. These balls just roll back and forth. All right, now oh, there's another spot. Okay, now after I've done one side, I would go ahead and put the balls on the other side. Okay, and I'll go from you know, about uh, mid-back all the way up until I get to about the top here. Uh, you can try and go up into your neck. Some people can do, work well with that and others. It's just a little more difficult to get in there, but you can go all the way up underneath that cranial ridge there and that may help as well. Okay, now the next group that we wanna hit uh, that I mentioned earlier, go through the traps all the way up uh, through here, okay? And I'm really gonna focus across here because I know for me,
that's the big area that I need to hit. Okay, so drop that ball over the shoulder, get it into place. Ah, I'm just gonna sit there for a little bit, breathe, relax. Once I feel those muscles start to relax just a little bit, then I can start to move my arm around and lean into it. Yeah, that's a good spot right there. Good, good spot. And then I'll move the balls over just a little bit. Mm, getting right on the edge there, but I need to get in that spot. So I'm gonna use my other hand to hold the balls in place and I can move my arm around. And it's just sitting right on a little knot there. Okay. So I've gone about as far over towards the shoulder as I can get. Now I'm gonna come up into this region here because I, I feel like I need to dig in there a bit. I'll place that ball, step out a little further from the wall this time. So I need to do that to get the angle just right. Okay, good. I can kind of keep a finger there on it. And then I can turn my head. Yeah, turn my head a little bit. Good. All right, now, even though I haven't done that fully on both sides yet, I can already feel the area between my shoulder blades is loosened up, the area right above my shoulder blades has loosened up, and I feel like I can turn my head a little further, right, just a little further in each direction. I can get a little more on this side, so if I do a little more work over here, I'll be able to turn my head further on that side. Okay, so let's uh, summarize here for a second. We have to figure out what's causing the problem with your neck and very frequently, at least for most of my clients, it's working with technology. Either the small little cell phone and being bent over like this, and again, for up to hours per day, and this is even hitting kids nowadays. Or it could be working at something like uh, the computer or even driving for a long time, right? Take a three hour trip, four hour trip, five hour trip, your arms are up in this weird extended position. Uh, Bring some massage balls with you or a lacrosse ball. As soon as you get to your hotel room, pull it out, spend two minutes going back and forth, and you'll just be amazed at how much better you feel. Okay, let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Catch you next time.